Hello everyone. The game which I'll be showing you today was played between Adolf Anderson and Ron Dufresen. Adolf Anderson was a chess German chess grandmaster and Ron Dufresen was a chess composer. The this game has got the title of the Evergreen Chess Game and why this game got this title just get to know in the end of the video. So let's go to the game. So here Adolf Anderson is playing with white pieces and Ron is playing with black pieces. Adolf Anderson started with started with E4 e5 knight to f3 after knight to c6 and here adolf played c4 bishop to c4 and after then here ron played uh, bishop to c5 and then the game got transposed into evans gambit uh, in this gambit white will sacrifice some of his pawns for rapid development so here ron took the pawn and after that here adolf pushes c pawn and here Bishop to a5, and now Dolph Anderson sacrificed another pawn in this position because this pawn is pinned, and you cannot take it with this knight also. So here, Ron took the pawn, and after that, White castled in this position. And now, here, if Black wanted, he could have taken this pawn. He could have taken this pawn, but if he takes the pawn, then comes uh, Queen to b3, and after Queen to f6, now you'll just see like you can see like whites all the pieces are on active square this rook is also going to come in the game this bishop is going to come in the game and white will easily take back the pawn also so that is why in this position here ron played pawn to d3 but here after that adolf anderson played queen to b3 so now there are uh, double attack on this f pawn so this has to be protected so here queen to f6 was played and after that pawn to e5 if you take the pawn by the your knight then you can take the knight in this position and after that after you take your knight you can simply take the pawn in this position and now the king has to go on f8 otherwise you lose your knight in this position but here also you can see like this bishop is going to come in the attack uh, after this this e1 square gets protected this rook is also going to come in the attack this knight is also going to come in the attack this and after this bishop and knight both gets off their original square the another knight is also going to come in the attack so here black will be under great pressure so with all these calculations here ron simply played queen to g6 so now also it is protecting the f7 pawn but here Adolf Anderson played rook to e1. After that, knight to ge3, ge7, and after that, bishop a3. Now, here the best move for black would have been to castle in this position, but this game was played in 1852. Might be at those time they won't be considering castle a good move. So, also the move which Ron played was b5 why he played this move because now if he castles in this position then you can see white's all pieces are on active square this bishop is also this uh, knight is also going to come in the game now and all the pieces are attacking on the king side so it will be very risky for ron to castle so here he played pawn to b5 now ron thought of sacrificing some pawn for rapid development again so here queen took the pawn and after that rook to b8 so queen a4 bishop to b6 and here knight to bd2 bishop to b7 then came knight to e4 here ron played queen to f5 but now bishop to d3 and queen to h5 so if you're adolf anderson he like did very good calculations and he played bishop he played knight to f6 so now there is a fork on the queen so it is compulsory for you to take the knight but after pawn takes the knight now there are double attack on this knight and you are just going to lose your knight in this position there are triple attack on this knight so here ron played the best move possible he played queen he played rook to g8 and like here Anderson Adolf Anderson played rook to ad1 and this is the winning move 
here Ron didn't know what is going on the board like what checkmating pattern Adolf Anderson has set for himself so Ron went on with his plan and he played queen to f3 he captured the knight in this position and now this pawn is pinned so you cannot take the queen also you are like just getting checkmated in the next move and suppose if you try something like pawn to g3 so then you can play knight to d4 now this bishop has also joined the party this knight is also going to come on the attack so it will be like it will be mostly impossible for black for white to save the game but after queen to f3 here suddenly black comes into the advantage and he has the winning chances over here but from after this move here Adolf Anderson saw the checkmating pattern like any player in this position I don't know if I would be playing in this position I'll never be able to see this checkmate there is a forcing checkmate in five moves here Adolf took the knight with his rook and now in this position like the game cannot be saved because if suppose if you move your king to d8 then you can simply block this checkmate and also you are attacking this king also queen also this queen has to move and the only good move for this queen to go is h3 still uh keeping some pressure on this block but now you can simply take the knight in this position after knight takes it back here you have you can take the knight and now how do you prevent this checkmate still this queen is guarding this d pawn but after you take the pawn with your rook how do you prevent the checkmate in that case so here black has to move his king to c8 then to it will be of no use because after rook takes on d7 now if you move something like cannot take the pawn if you suppose you don't have any good moves suppose if you place something like rook to d8 trying to exchange some materials then to it will be useless because you can just give rook to c7 check so this bishop has to take it and this will be checkmate so yeah so this king cannot move on this king cannot move on e7 so the only good move which ron thought in this position was knight takes the rook but after that here Adolf Anderson sacrificed this queen in this position so it has to it has to be taken because if you move your king to f8 then this is simply checkmate so you have to take the queen so Ron took the queen but then Adolf played bishop to f5 check so here there is double check to the king so this king has only two squares to go either on e8 or c6 so if you go to c6 then this is checkmate bishop to d7 is checkmate so you have to go to e8 and this is also going to lead to checkmate only because after bishop to d7 check now if you move on d8 then to it is a checkmate but here ron played f8 and after bishop to e7 he finally checkmated ron so now like can you imagine in this position this checkmating pattern Adolf Anderson has seen such a beautiful checkmating pattern in this position this is why this game has got the name of evergreen chess game so yeah this is it from this video thank you everyone if you like this video then do subscribe my channel thank you see ya bye bye